thousand, seven, thousand, eight, thousand, nine, go! Nice! The loneliness of the long distance runner is a short story highlighting the challenge of competing not just against your peers, but with yourself. Also, it's a really super cool song by Iron Maiden and actually a really good song to run to. You're welcome. Now, locally, cross country is one of the first quarter sports in which St. John's competes, and they do so with the pride, respect, and dedication of a proper knight. This year's squad is paced by co-captains Mava Conroy and Alex Clark, who encourage their teammates to strive for personal records, but as senior leaders, always ensure that they remain part of the pack. We have a lot of experienced runners on the team, a lot of upperclassmen, um, a lot of confident runners, and I think we're all in a really good mindset. Um, ready for our meet on Friday. So personally, I am thinking that I'm going to do well, but I'm also glad to see that we have a lot of good freshmen because there's definitely a lot of freshmen that might make it into the top 10. And I really want to work with them and see how they get there. In a sport that can oftentimes be exceedingly personal, for these co-captains, it's always about the team. There's definitely some pressure there, you know, you got to set the example for the underclassmen. Um, but it's all, we're a very fun team, very lighthearted. I feel like everyone wants to do well in running, everyone has their goals for the season. And it's overall just like, everyone is there because they want to be there. Yeah, as many of us said, we have a, we have a strong team spirit. And so there's really not too much pressure that goes into leading them because we know them well, they know us well, and we know that they'll follow us. They lead by example, and their runner's attitude and ambition starts with them. They draw from their experience of their fellow seniors and their new talent. And really, we gotta push it from the beginning so that way we know where we're at and where we need to be by the end of the season. Because you don't really know the other competition yet with the new season because we haven't ran against everyone. Mava and Alex have been classmates and teammates since the eighth grade and want to finish their careers on top, embracing the goal of running for individual achievement and success for their school. Running is more of a mental um, challenge to me than it is um, like the physical aspect of it. And as any experienced cross-country runner will tell you, consistency and pacing are essential. I, I'm really big on competition. And so really all the training doing, what we do is to just get our bodies ready so that when we need them, we can use them right. But it's always the competition that really strikes me. And that's really the part that I focus on, especially when they're in front of you, they're side by side with you or right behind you. It's like, that's really when you know that you're actually racing. And that's when you like you can feel the adrenaline, which is one of my favorite feelings. These athletes know opportunity is the direct result of preparation. And while they've got the support of their coach, their parents, and Knight Nation behind them, do they put into practice the time-honored tradition of athletic superstition? I don't think I have a good enough memory to stay superstitious. <laughs> I really just go with whatever it feels like at the day. Uh, although I do have, uh, I guess, some superstition in how I wake up and how I feel for the rest of that day, for the race day. Um, I listen to the same music for the race, you know, to get me pumped and this good mindset. I wear my um, running socks and my race shoes and I eat, um, you know, a sandwich. Ah, so there is a value in routine. Okay, jotting that down. So, speaking of music, while Mava and Alex share the school's vision and drive to fulfill their potential, they couldn't be more opposite when it comes to their game day jams to get them in running form. However, their tastes are both distinctly old school. Well, I listen to a lot of Radiohead. Okay. One song that I probably associate with running is, that I like is Highway Star by Deep okay. Purple. And as a group, the Knights also get pumped by watching sports movies. Yeah. I know as a team, we would watch McFarlane. Yes, we would. Which one? <laughs> McFarlane. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm real into the history of surfing, so I like Momentum Generation. Okay. It's a good surf movie. So while at this point they're not guaranteeing an outcome with this being the start of a new season, they do know it's a clean slate and opportunity to set the tone for their school and make their mark island-wide. And they're putting the league on notice 
that you're gonna get their A games every time they hit the course. They're gonna see um, dedicated athletes, um, always with a positive attitude, but you know, we're here to balance it with competitiveness. We're here to compete. We're here to be in the top 10. We're here to have good athletes ready to be competitive with the other teams. I'd say, because normally for at least the past few years, Guam High has been dominating. I think that this year we'll be able to put up some form of challenge to them. Half a day Guam, I'm Ava Conroy. And I'm Alex Clark. And we're the, we're the captains, captains of the St. John's, John's Cross Country, Country. and we're KUAM, KUAM Sports, Sports Ambassadors. Ambassadors. KUM Sports Ambassadors is brought to you by Subway, Powerade, and Body Armor.